paint some spoons? I would love to paint some spoons today. We got spoons galore. If, uh, if the viewers are curious to know which paint those are primed with, it's every one we had back there. Amalgamation of black primers. Mm -hmm. And um, also, here's an amalgamation of... I guess they should be on camera. I'm like sitting here looking at them. <laughs> not recording with my eyeballs. Boom. Yeah. Um, Turbo I, dork. You want to know what I call this palette? What is this palette? Flavor Town. Ah, ah! Get out of here. Uh, welcome back to the Mediocre Painting Channel, Hard Knocks Games. Um... Uh, my good friend Allison is sitting in on this one so we, so we can uh, talk about some new stuff that we got in recently. Uh, we've had it for like a month or so, but we're just finally sitting down to do some talking about it and do some reviews on a new paint line, Turbo Dork. I was um, beside myself when these came in. I was like, are we going to... Are, are, you, are, you, are we going to swatch the whole thing? Because when we did that with the contrast paint, we it did. was the best day of my life. We probably are. I'm just going to have to get some more, and that way we can like open them up so we can have uh, our store copies of these paints. <laughs> They're not cheapo paints. No, these so are not So I understand why we didn't open one of every bottle right away. But um... Um, These definitely have been getting some buzz. We've been moving a few. We've had a lot of people asking about them, um, picking them up, picking them up a couple here and there. And me personally, I didn't know much about these. I'd heard they were coming out. Um, they're supposed to be like really cool metallics and like they've got funny names. Um, 90s kids will remember. 90s kids will remember. I mean, we got Cool Ranch, obviously, is in, you know, because it's blue, like the Dorito bag. Get it. Get it. We feel the nostalgia. Blue raspberry here. We got I puckers. am nostalgic about blue raspberry. For sure. Um, my favorite color is they have a blue that's called, it's just called Dabadi. So anybody's familiar with that. So um, we're, this is going to be the first time of us messing around. We're going to do this on camera and see uh, what kind of effects. Um, they say you're supposed to put it over a uh, black base coat or, or, uh, yeah, like this one says, for most vibrant results, apply over black undercoat. Paint three to five thin layers with airbrush or hand brush. So we're going to try the gold one says uh, black or white. Um, and must be this one says must be applied over black undercoat. Uh, anyway, um, this is a new paint line in the, in the industry right now. It's mostly metallic, and they got a lot of like color shift properties to them. And so uh, we're going to find out. So anyway, Flavor Town. Ooh, do they come with mixing bowls? They do. That's nice. That was fancy. You want me to shake the other You thing? can shake them. There we go. I love any paint line that comes with a mixing ball in it already. I was cleaning out old bottles of nail polish and they had mixing balls in them and the hoarder and me was like, save the balls, save the balls. And Taya's like, no, save no, the balls. Not need any more mixing balls. At the <laughs> All right. So we're going to try the Cool Ranch first just because, oh, it's got a nice little like seal cap on it and everything. I'm like, wow, that's, that's, that's neat. So we can see the pigment in it. It's definitely got some fleck. This may need shook up a little more. I'm not sure because I don't know the consistency of these things. I feel like you could do this one especially over a base blue too and not have to do yeah. five coats. We'll find out what's going to happen. I may need to shake this up a little more. Oh, no, no, that's good. If I was like a real YouTube like modeling guy, I'd have my airbrush out. But since most of my clientele doesn't actually own airbrushes because they're all Neanderthals, I mean, wonderful people who I love very much and can't seem to get them to get with the airbrush thing here lately, uh, I'm going to handbrush this. You know you like being the only bougie friend in your friend group. I do. Oh, that's interesting blue metallic it sure is pigment i i really expected yeah. it to be like a watery like nothing right 
and see if that extra shake changes this consistency or this otherwise are we just going to get what we get no nope, that's pretty much it okay cool so my paint shaking skills were up to par okay so these are nice and thin uh straight out the bottle you'd probably still need to thin them just a little bit more for airbrush use because they don't have that uh milk consistency yeah you definitely need to thin that for airbrush use but uh they're pretty much mostly there let's do a second coat now that's vibrant well, that's two coats of our black undercoat and i can definitely like most metallics you want to do over a black base coat just because it really brings the pigment the metal fleck pigment out so that's pretty cool check that out for an acrylic yeah yeah for acrylics being brushed on a plastic spoon with like three different types of black primer on it because that's the kind of people we are. Um, Mickey Jimenez could never. <laughs> he, he'd slap me out of my chair. <laughs> All right, so that's Cool Ranch. Um, that'd be really cool for some like, uh, like some thousand suns and like the modern blue and gold uh, post heresy paint scheme for 40k or any kind of other electric magic metal blue you wanted to do something with. Can you uh, custom print some like tiny Dorito decals? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. Let me clean my paint dish and we'll do the next one. Just rattle the camera. Waka -taka, waka -taka, waka -taka. I want one of the what? It's the sound effect of like the blown out speaker, like the. Brrr. <laughs> so every time we hit our rig, <laughs> instead of editing brrr. around it, I'm just gonna do the. Brrr. <laughs> right. I love that you're taking the entire safety ring off. That's supposed to snap off. Yeah. yeah. No, it just it, it just, just comes it just comes right with the lid. There, it ain't snapping off. Randy Savage would be mad at me for not snapping it. So. Randy Savage would be mad at you anyway. That's probably true. All right. We're going to try the gold next. This is Pucker from Turbo Dork. But I'm getting a lot of glare on that shiny metal paint can, paint dish, whatever. Shut up. Don't judge me. I don't know if it's because it's called pucker and I don't get this effect from like the bubblegum crisis color in this line, but I can taste this paint by looking at it. <laughs> All right. So this looks like it's a uh, kind of reminiscent of the old games workshop, uh, burnished gold, definitely a little on the thin side, but that's okay. We're painting a spoon. There's going to be brush strokes. Try and feather out as many of them as I can. So that's one coat. That really does read as gold. I don't know. Yeah. I expected it to be more yellow. I'm not disappointed, but. No, that's definitely a metallic. That's a, it's like the old GW, like burnished gold, just about going on there. That's pretty cool. I mean, it coats pretty well for one coat of paint over uh, a wide, flat surface area. That's not bad. All right, so now we're going to, do you want to do the honors of like layering these up? I'll, we'll switch out. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll switch out when we're, and you can like sit here. All I've done as an employee today is like pour you some water and ask you for chicken nugget money. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I'm bringing to the chicken table. Chicken nugget right? money. <laughs> of course, but only the kids meal. They don't do spicy chicken nuggets in the Happy Meal. What? I don't know. They might have. I was embarrassed to ask. <laughs> this is for my daughter. Uh, yeah, my daughter. Wink, 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 wink. All right, we're going to go coat two over this one since it's mostly dry now. I tend to paint at home with the really, really cheap craft store metallic paints. So for me, these look like enamels. <laughs> I know they're just a nicer acrylic paint. They're just but nice. they... Getting paint on my desk like a gremlin. Yeah. That's uh, that's two coats of gold over the black. Pretty good coverage. I usually do my golds over brown. So the fact that this is covering up that black pretty well and it's popping out 
I mean, you're really getting that 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 sheen on there. You're getting that metallic fleck. Well, and I'm curious. I'm reaching. I'm just reaching on in. I'm curious to see what that looks like next to the because these. It's hard to know if those are an accurate representation, but I feel it's pretty, pretty darn close. accurate. Yeah. yeah. That's actually very, very close to that finished color. I wonder what the, is the blue one? Yeah, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, that's neat. Especially if you, once you go over that with the gloss. Yeah. That's gonna shine. That's some uh, wet ass water. You're fine. <laughs> I cannot stop thinking about Ben Shapiro saying wet ass P word. Like I wake up and it's the first thing in my brain. Somebody used the audio of him saying that over footage of them stirring up a pot of dry macaroni. Dry macaroni. Did you see that? No, I haven't. It's heard Ken, that. the title is Ben Shapiro's wife. <laughs> I mean, like, way to just like out yourself and like everything, like to everyone because you didn't like a song. Like, golly. Well, his sister's on YouTube. She's paying for so many ads that everybody has to see her videos on their timeline. And they're just awful. And there's a, a popular conspiracy theory that I 100% want to promote on this channel that it is just Ben Shapiro in a wig. <laughs> ben Shapiro in a wig. But yeah, we got the uh, the seal actually like came off on this oh, one. That's uh, that, one out of three. Cool. All right. So this is blue raspberry. And I don't know. like Oh, shoot. Uh, that label is surely purple but this paint looks white so uh oh this is the color shift okay okay cool this will be must be applied over black undercoat three to five thin layers of airbrush or hand brush all right so this is gonna be interesting bum, 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 bum. i bet this one is beautiful airbrushed probably oh yeah you can see like the gold like the metal fleck in the suspension so this is gonna uh, so we're gonna put this on Oh, oh my. Wow. Okay, that is not the color I was expecting at all um, from the white uh, looking substance that is in my paint dish. But that is. Uh, Can wow. I tell you what my first thought was? And I'm going to bleep it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wizard. Ha! <laughs> 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 we should make our oh, own wow. paint line so that I can name all of them and nobody will want to be my friend. I'll always be your friend. Aww. Okay, so this is drying a little and this definitely is shifty. That was exciting when it first went on. Jeez. Like it looks similar to the blue, to the uh, cool ranch, but then you tilt it and it's, oh, it's kind of purple. So it's definitely a color shift. I'm going to go grab a white model real quick. Like, you can't see it real well on this camera, but there is definitely some color shift going on. That's neat as hell. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Did you find something? I we did. Try? I think it's one of those pre-primed dudes, but... Hey, we'll try it Oh, out. man. Yeah, that is blue. Like, it's blue, but then, like, you tilt it a little, and it starts turning purple. Mm -hmm. Like, that's definitely color shifty. And I say, you can't you can't see it very well on the camera, oh, but, no, like, you I can look over... over here. You can look over there, like, the distance really helps, that that is definitely a color shift. I feel like that would definitely be more useful, painting something big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. All right, we're going to, like, paint old dude's sword here, since I want to see what it looks like over a, over a white... All right, that's pearlescent on there. Of course, this says over black. This must be applied over black undercoat. So, we're oh, just, really? yeah, we're just experimenting right now. It's probably not going to do anything over the white. 
This is like to show you like what not to do. This is what happens if you paint it on white. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. It, uh, really doesn't look like much of anything. Yeah. So it's you got to follow the directions. Because it doesn't do anything over the white. Let's see what this gold does over white. Because the gold says it can be painted over the white. Using my giant brush to paint his S word here, his sword. My 12 year old Winsor Newton Series 5. It's getting a little frayed on it, but it's great for doing base work. It looks just like a new Abtalung brush. It looks like a new Abtalung brush. Like it's pre frayed, except this one's 12 years old. That's much more yellow in the gold over, oh, wow. over yeah. top of a white base coat. So it's going to be quite the difference between over black and over white for that. So that's neat. Yeah, and the color shift does nothing over white. He looks like he has a, a pearly sword blade. That would shatter very easily if that was made of pearl. I'm gonna let Al step in and paint the three colors. Hell yeah. I filmed crochet videos at home and I was showing Bart the last one I finished and the first thing he said, the very first thing is, well, your hands look a little rough there, don't they? I'm like, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been slathering myself. With hand sanitizer to keep your everybody ass from getting got, the COVID. Everybody got the dry hands. Everybody uh, got the dry hands. He gonna, he gonna throw some shade at you. <laughs> like, well, not everybody can be a hand model like you are, but Jesus. He does have beautiful hands. <laughs> I had a science teacher in high school who I couldn't listen to him in class because Hold on, I gotta get this out. On one of the first days of school, this chick named Abby, who sat next to me, leaned over. We didn't even know each other, Wayne. She was just like this cool of a chick. She leans over to me while he's lecturing and says, Hey, he's got koala hands. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got these stuff. I mean, like, he every part of this man looked like a koala. <laughs> And he actually was. A he might have actually been yeah. a koala. <laughs> Do so. This is. Um, I really had a plan for this, and now I'm just going against it. I'm layering blue raspberry over pucker. Nice. And that's kind of an interesting so that's what's kind of fun about these is that you could do cross sections of things or combine them with the color shift with each other. That's pretty cool. That you'll start to get a different effect koala hands now i'm yeah. gonna be thinking about that little nubby fingers with gray tufts of hair <laughs> he was an all right teacher but have you ever had one of those teachers that they have to like pull a little prank on the first day to show the kids that they're a cool they're teacher cool. but watch yeah. out it's gonna keep you on your toes yeah well, this bastard has a microwave in his room. And he pulls out of it a diaper with a Snickers bar in it that he's microwaved. Like, we don't know, you know, like, oh, you know, obviously this guy's going to eat real poopy in front yeah. of a whole class. Like, we're like, oh, yeah, but we're all trying to, like, be like, ha ha, yeah, this is... Hilarious. This is funny. We, we, yeah. Funny wow. I really. Um, so yeah, the blue. They, boy, they do look similar. Yeah, it looks purple from over here. The color shift does. But depending on how you turn it, it's either the blue or the purple. Oh, oh that yeah. Caught, that caught the purple right there. Like I, from back here, that is purple as hell. And then it's blue. And then it's purple. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would imagine there's not much point to buying blue raspberry and putting it on a tiny piece of a model. Yeah, Appreciate but if you're doing like a fuselage uh, on a like a plane or a car or like a sci-fi tank or something or a robot, uh, I could definitely see it. But you would need like 
big panel areas oh, yeah. for that to like be readily apparent that you have color shift going on on your model. The yellow looks beautiful over yeah. the blue. Or over the white, rather. Whoop. Paint on your desk. That's all right. No. It is a work desk. You were correct in your color choices, madam. Oh, gosh. Good job. I really do want to see them all, though. There's the satisfaction of swatching a whole line of thing. Yeah. That. We will. Well, thanks for joining us again, uh, doing some reviews and some uh, and non-traditional stuff for our painting channel here. I hope you've enjoyed it. And this has been Turbo Dork Paints, a small sample of their line. I think there's about 30 paints in the line or so right now. Don't quote me on that because I'm just guessing. Um, the color shift is neat. Uh, definitely need big surface area to really get that effect, though, I think. And everything else is just a really nice metallic. Um, anyway, thanks to Allison for joining me here, and hopefully we'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye now. Bye now.